Okay, so we're resuming. Now, uh, the crowd was big, but we've eaten and it's gotten hot, so the, <laughs> the diehards are still here with us. So I'm gonna go through fairly quickly because folks are waiting on the bus, but I just wanna make sure you have all, a nice shot of all of the, the things. So Steve Biko, we know Steve Biko, Black Consciousness Movement, South Africa, died in br brutal hands of the yeah. South African government. Freedom Fighter, Black is Beautiful, and uh, uh, like I said, uh, uh, they're dragging the street. Yeah, oh yeah. Uh, Sonny Ali, we know he's the uh, founder of the Songhai Empire. Wow. Yeah, great man. We're just going to go one line. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Bahanzen, uh, the great shark, they called him. Uh, of course, he resisted the French in Dahomey. And we talked a little earlier about the, uh, the sisters who were a part of his army. The great shark, Bahanzen, Dahomey. Mary Makiba, I think uh, a lot of folks know her. Mama Africa. Uh, all kinds of beautiful revolutionary music too. Um, she was basically didn't mind going through the hard times and the censoring and, and all of the being put out of places where she couldn't, uh, where they didn't want her to go uh, because of her politics. But we know she stayed true all the way to the end. So Mary Makiba, brilliant singer, from Africa. Shekanta Jok, I think a lot of you know Shekanta. Uh, he's famous for a lot of things, but one of the main things was, uh, wow, some of the pain is coming off. One of the main things is he was made it clear with Obenga and some others, the African origins of, of uh, Kemet. And they had the People in of Africa Conference 1974, where he and Obenga went and made it clear. No one else could even come close to demonstrating that the people of Egypt, peopling of Egypt, when all the great things happened, uh, were African people and not some mix of all of these other folks they were talking about. Sheikh Antijab, brilliant scholar. You know, he's a chemist, he's a philosopher, he's all of these things. J.J. Uh, Dessalines, after the Haitian Revolution, he was basically the first president of Haiti, the first prime minister and president, and uh, renamed the place. First nation for independence. Yeah, first, that's right, the first nation of independence in the hemisphere, actually. Yeah. And um, so he was, he's the one who fought with Toussaint Louverture, yeah, Toussaint's okay. on the big wall because he's uh, one of the initiators. Okay. So that's Dessaline. Change the name to Haiti, uh, which was the name the original Tano people called it. So gave him that respect. We can talk more about him, but let's keep moving. George Washington Carver, a lot of us know him. The youngsters here, I really like for them to know about Carver and his brilliance, you know, in terms of crop rotation, in terms of chemistry, in terms of all of the things he's done other than just peanut. You know, they talk about peanuts. No, the man has done a lot more than that. You know, he saved the South in a certain way, you know, agriculturally. Right. And so another, if you ever get a chance to go to the museum in Tuskegee, his museum, it just blow your mind that things are done. I mean, you, you think you know until you see it and then you're embarrassed. Julius Nerere. Uh, Tanzania, you know, with the frontline states, he was um, helping out all the revolutionary movements around, um, was able to have uh, some kind of socialism, they will say, with the African face. So they were able to have um, sharing. They were able to do a lot of things. I don't know if you all are into Kwanzaa and everything, but uh, he typified a lot of the things that we are striving to push for in Kwanzaa. Efrem Amu, He's a local. He's born in Peke here. He did one of the uh, national anthem songs that they have. Very clear about African music, history, culture, all of those things. Try not to be overwhelmed by the European. He's an airway man from Volta region, Peke here. Harriet Tubman, we know her. Uh, it's good for the young Africans here to understand what happened in the U.S., the Underground Railroad, the slavery, the struggles we went through, the bravery of the sister, and um, we just try to make sure that they know we have these kind of warriors in our presence, or had them in our presence in the U.S. Samora Michelle, a lot of us know him from um, Mozambique, a revolutionary fighter in his own right. You know, we, we lost him in an airplane accident, which is a lot of suspicion. But anyway, fighting against the Portuguese in the bush, uh, very brave, brave African. Nanny in Jamaica, born in Ghana. Uh, she was basically an Ashanti. Some people say the nanny was really Nana, you know, that you hear here. And uh, when you look at the people that she had worked with, the, the so-called Maroons in Jamaica, who escaped the plantations, this kind of thing, you find a lot of Ghanaian names. Achampong, uh, Chermatang, 
uh, Cujo. When you hear these names in Jamaica, these are all Ashanti names. But she was so powerful, of course, she was able to carve out her own space. The British said, we don't want to fight you anymore, it's yours. The first treaty they signed was to the Maroons in Jamaica. The first treaty was to the Maroons in Jamaica, that's true. Haile Selassie, anyone want to add in? I'm just kind of, you know. Uh, Haile Selassie, you know, a lot of us know him, but one thing that, that the children here really love to learn is when I tell them he was born uh, Ross Lij, Lij Tafare Makone. Lij Tafare Makone. Of course, as he got a little older, Ross is like prince or, you know, royal name. So it's Ross Tafare. And, and it, it hits them at one point when they hear, even a lot of, even some Rosses will be there and then like, they just know Ross Tafare. I said, this is the man's name, Ross Tafara, you know, and especially the children and the young ones. So, and but anyhow, we, we have direct lineage, <laughs> direct to, lineage the, to Ethiopian um, dynasty, dynasty of um, um, uh, Solomon, Solomon dynasty, yeah. Solomon uh, dynasty, and of course through Menelik, who we talked down here, uh, uh, Pianke, uh, who was founder of the 25th dynasty. You know, they moved back up into Egypt, kind of reconstituted and got them back on path to uh, commit power and organization. They had gone through a long period of um, dissolution and he was able to come back, like Dr. Clark says, show his North, Northern brothers how to do it all over again. 25th Dynasty, Pharaoh of Egypt. Shaka the Zulu consolidated a lot of um, power in Southern Africa. And as we, Dr. Clark also tells us about the Europeans didn't really do that much dealing with Shaka because they already knew this was a strong area not to be tampered with. So they just kind of uh, worked around them. But Shaka was great at consolidating. Now there's a lot of discussion about the violence that happened with the other groups in South Africa. So if you live there, there's some people aren't so crazy about Shaka. But we can look at it in terms of a, a, a way of nation building, which sometimes is not right, always gotta, pretty. You got to get rid of it on the Right. Fannie Lou Hamer, we know her. Fannie Lou Hamer with the... Uh, out of Mississippi, the uh, Mississippi uh, Democratic Freedom Party, was it? I even forgot the actual acronym. You know, SNAC. who. SNAC, Student National. Student Nonviolent Coordinating Nonviolent Coordinating Committee. Coordinating Committee. But, but what I'm saying is where she had kind of made her mark is when she went there to the Democratic yeah. Convention to say, yeah. us yeah. blacks in, rep in Mississippi are not represented. And I let the young ladies know when I'm, when I'm walking through, you know, I have some information about how she was brutalized in prison and the things that she went through just trying to vote. It's hard for them to imagine that sometimes, but just for vote. And I think as a child, she was sterilized without her permission. Sterilized without her permission, yes. giving a her hysterectomy and, mm -hmm. and not knowing why. And as a result, she said, okay, you did that. She went and adopted like eight children or something. Said, so we'll, we'll make up for it and put some mean children in the pipeline. <laughs>